My name is Clara Sanabras and I am originally from Barcelona and I'm a musician and I'm a singer-songwriter and guitarist. This program I'm playing tonight is mainly in Spanish and Catalan, which is my mother tongue. The rest of the time I have a, a band which is um, a bit more jazz oriented and the songs in, with that are in English. I've been in, in the UK for 18 years and uh, had a great time. It's a brilliant place for music and because I play different world instruments, um, exotic lutes and guitars and a harmonium. Uh, it's a fantastic meeting place in London because you can you can find like-minded musicians. My name's Harvey Bruff, I've just finished playing a gig at the Canning House of Songs of Spanish Exile with Clara Stenabras. My name's Khayyam El Lami, I play the Oud, and the Oud is uh, a lute from the Middle East. It's played everywhere from uh, Morocco to Iran. It's the ancestor of the Western uh, Renaissance lute, it's the, like the father of uh, the instrument. She's a highly talented uh, and very experienced singer-songwriter, um, primarily from, from East London, but actually really uh, with her roots firmly fixed in Barcelona, which is why it's important for us here at Canning House, where we're the UK Latin American Forum. So it's very, very important for us to have her here, and a real great privilege. It's very rich, it's wonderful, Catalan and Spanish, and the theme of exile, and um, she, sings, she sings in French and English, I think, as well. Yeah. Extraordinary. I love um, the different influences that her music um, kind of embodies, um, especially the, the fact that she uses um, really kind of what seem like exotic instruments and um, the historical elements that, that um, go into the music as well. I could listen for a long time and not be tired of it and still be conscious of it because and there's something pure and lovely and true. Uh, but also the way she sings, it makes it seem as if it's like a sunny Spanish day. The words are essential for me. Um, my songs are always tell stories. Um, they're not just a groove. They have a, you know, they have a sort of beginning, middle, and end. And even though some of the time they're completely um, fantastical, they don't have any relationship with reality and. You know that sort of uh, impressions of life and contemporary life. Sometimes I like to set poems to music as well because it's such a great way of learning how to write better. I think music is a, perhaps one of the best ways of crossing cultural boundaries and be, being sympathetic and understanding and inspiring. Life. I also, when I was young, I listened to a lot of the Cocteau Twins, who were my favorite band, and. You know, they were pretty much up there with Ravel or Bach or, you know, so it was a pretty kind of schizophrenic musical diet that I was on. But uh, it's made me where I am now, you know, I did, I slightly drive journalists crazy because I never fall into the one bracket, you know. Fantastic voice, uh, really resonated around the room, uh, didn't even need a microphone um, at all. Um, the music was diverse and um, educational. I swam across to find you the night before you died to us. If I was the apple of his eye, and you're the apple, the tree, you're the earth and the sea. Overall fantastic um, musical experience and it's back to Winkball.